every time I try to pull myself away from that gag, someone drags me back in. Oof. So, anyway, welcome. Welcome. Thumbs welcome. up. <laughs> welcome. Thumbs everybody. up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh, my God. He just went in, in there. He as in the player. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> So anyway, that... welcome to, uh, to the uh, to uh, the uh, next episode. Uh, the, uh, welcome to Points of Light, and the finale of the first season of Across Eberron Convergence Manifesto. I am Norwinak, and once more, I will be the Dungeon Master. Uh, now, all of, now uh, so this session is a little unusual. First of all, oh yeah, first of all, not everyone's gonna, well, not everyone's going to be here, but two groups will be here in one session. Well, one group will be taking care of one part, and the other. Of group, the other part. One, yeah, one group, uh, the Profost, and the other, the Convergence Engine. Exciting, isn't it? I was hoping that everyone would be here, but we had to make do, right? Hmm. Yeah, we all know. The, yeah, we all know. We all know the recap. We have uh, everybody should know the recap. So every. So long story short. If, uh, so all the uh, both parties have gathered uh, their, their, uh, gathered uh, as many uh, artifacts as they can. That yep, we, them. we got the Magu Yeah, we got the MacGuffins. Now it's time to beat. Yeah, you know, it's time to confront the final boss. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, this recap is shorter than usual because. Well, this is what it essentially is. Was you know the reality storm of uh, tearing everything apart, that sort of thing. Yeah, and yeah, and the uh, and the bad guy, per yeah, preparing to uh, turn, yeah, to turn to turn Celeste Joestar's home of Skyway into a freaking colony drop. Yeah, Ultron would be proud. You know, he, he tried to do the same. Yeah, thing. the yeah the yeah, which yeah, which a certain uh, Sokovian Baron blames the Avengers for. Mm-hmm. And with that, is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll yeah. need your preparations as Laura salutes, uh, 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 salutes you, telling you that she'll see to the evacuation operations down here. She says us as the pair of uh, as the as the pair of uh, uh, Orion Air uh, micro passage flares. Then the streets of uh, uh, Skyway snap into view. The alley storm rages all about you now. The lightning flashing dangerously close. Unnatural cl uh, clouds twisting around Skyway, uh, Skyway's uh, pal uh, Palatia mansions with the dazzling crystal windows, colorful gardens, and spotless streets. The streets are, are, uh, are empty of people. The rich ones are taking shelter in their homes. Atop the five of the district's tallest spires, you see unusual lights, shining a brilliant white of, of from crystal cores suspended by chains. These are suspiciously new to the district. The yes, yeah, so, yeah. Celeste has taken a look at these structures and thinking these weren't here the last time. The last time I came home. What would you like to do? Oh, what other? Than, yeah. Other than, Wonder why there's a piano in the corner of the of the alleyway. <laughs> oh, can I move you? to Banksy. <laughs> why does it say Acme on it? <laughs> Sorry, Acme. <laughs> yeah, so are you dragging me back? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're using uh, row twenty for uh for uh, for these uh, for this uh, for this episode because there's there's an encounter that is a little more compli uh a bit too complicated for theater of the mind. So once it, once these counters show up, you will know. So anyway, um, it appears that these glass crystal uh, that some of these uh, oh, uh, these glass crystals seem to guard the convergence engine, but which one? Hmm. We just start blowing them up one by one. You don't have a lot of time, and you need no, you don't have a lot of time. If you find the uh, the false one, that will be time wasted. Split up and just take on both of them. Hmm. 
for anyone who has proficiency in Arcana or has a high, ch uh, no, high skill rate of Arcana or some other skills that might be well. Uh, uh, hey, 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 Arca hey, Arcana is something Celeste is trained in. Right. Same yay here. Yeah, yay for be yeah, yay for being the source. Yeah, yay for being the sorceress. Would you like to, what? Uh, would you like to uh, help? Um, hey, uh, 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 I don't need. To, I don't need to help. I did a twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Looks like I'm not making that roll. Yeah, looks like I'm not making that roll after all. Well, you are no one thing too about using planet. Did I. You know character what? sheets being slow to load anyway. Yeah, you might know a thing too about using planet lenses, uh, lenses to power an eldritch machine. Uh, at least in theory. Some of these shards are actually in the right place to take full advantage. Yeah. And that was the wrong character sheet. Yeah, yeah. So Lonnie, you managed to like you see you realize how some of these um, shards are not in the right place to take full advantage of the power. Yeah, that's better. Uh, yes, the master plan was so well executed they didn't put things in the right spot. <laughs> Truly, the greatest of nemesis. <laughs> nemesis. I mean, I yeah, the, I mean I the plural I mean, of nemesis is, is nemesis. It's Nemesi in this case, because we're not dignifying him with proper uh, grammatical structure or enunciation. Because <laughs> screw that guy. Fair enough. We're not even dignifying him by calling him a nemesis. He's just yet another bitch we have to take out like the rest of the trash. Well. And then... <laughs> yeah, hopefully the trash doesn't take itself out, because uh, Celeste is looking forward to watch, <laughs> watch, w yeah, watching Cole dangle this idiot off a cloud. And the rest uh, of his body parts, too. Anyway, so... <laughs> to, 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 so here, here, here's the threats that, Paul, that Cole plans to make good on. Break his kneecaps. Break his legs. Rip off an arm and then beat him with it. <laughs> I'll beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Because <laughs> there's a threat for every single one. Um... Um... Oh... So, so, uh, so Lonnie, make him eat his own something. What was it? So, Lonnie, you were able to like I realized that uh, the uh, shard at say the cloud pool park, that's fake. Would anyone else like to make relevant rolls to make sure yeah uh, which one is real or not? I rolled nine, so no thanks. <laughs> I think they're all real. <laughs> I rolled a twenty-two on my arc. Kana check. With your knowledge of of like thieves in El uh, Elch machines, you were able to identify the uh, one of the other um, uh, shards that seem that appear to be false. Uh, the one at the Hippocrat stables. Oh, uh, like my. Oh, uh, that's probably where my hippogriff is staying. At least, well, at least, well, at least. Well, at least that one's a de. Well, at least that one's a decoy. All right. Would anyone else like like to make relevant walls? You can try again if you want apparatus. Okay. Uh, Twenty-eight. <laughs> Yep. Twenty. Roll a twenty on that. I know what it is. You want a net twenty? Yes. Not only were you able to like attend, you were able to identify two more shards that that appeared to be false: so, the Starlight Theater and the Tame Manor, which only leaves one that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, one that appears to be true through process of elimination: the Celestial Fe Fiesta. Okay. The oh, the celestial, the celestial vista. That's one of that's one of Celeste's favorite restaurants. <sighs> Didn't we? Though she usually though she usually eats at the Azure Dragon. Yeah. We, uh, wasn't that where we were eating uh, last time? Or was that other place? Uh, never mind. Okay, then let's go there. Yeah. So, so with the pair of a. Uh... Uh, with the players tables, one table goes towards this, um, yeah, it goes towards the top of the fi uh, fiesta, and, it, and the other, which has Bree, Celeste, 
Lonnie, Apparatus, and Mark in Yulan uh, near what appears to be a magical wall of ice encircling the base of the building. What do you want to do? Someone knock on it. You knock? Not me, not, not me obviously. It's a, it's a wall of ice. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'll just make some further maze to, uh, to tap it. Um, go ahead and roll an attack. Okay then. Uh, that's uh, a that's seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, seven. Twenty. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. So I was uh, looking at my, my uh, attack bonus. That's a hit. Uh, be, go ahead and roll. Uh, go ahead and roll damage with um with your mace. Okay. Seven. Seven. Alrighty. So, uh, you, you start to crack through the. Uh, uh, yeah, with, with no with no time to waste, you you start to like um break through the ice with your uh, mace. Oh, good. It's not some type of magic death ice or something. This time. <laughs> <laughs> this time we'll... I'm not a magic detector, you know. D d d does you know no one case. have any fire spells? Oh, oh, I, I, I was waiting for someone to first make sure it wasn't going to have some horrible effect. Now, if I want to back up, I'll just fireball it. Well, I do hit. Well, yeah, you have a the can the fireball cantrip. I may I may use that. Oh, we just fireball. lost someone. Yeah, I may. Yeah, I might as well use that. All right, go ahead and you add up. You can use your. You can go ahead and you whip out your uh, your uh, your wand and add D8 to your up uh, with your wand. Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> right. So go ahead and roll the attack with your wand. Okay. Uh, that's a bonus of nine. Yep. Or that's a. a okay bonus. then. Unless it's twenty-seven. You hit. Go ahead and roll. Since see ice is falling, but go ahead and roll double the damage. Okay then. That's. Double the damn. Okay, so two d six. Okay, so two d ten. You two d ten plus d eight and double that. Twenty two. All right, so that's the ice. Sorry, uh, sorry to break uh, to break down. Even even if the weakest hit uh, would would shatter about ten uh, about like uh, uh sh would shatter enough to make a ten feet section out of it. Good enough, so let's walk through. Right. Right. Alrighty, um, basically you manage to break through, through the ice, and you feel like this, like, fr uh, a, uh, a sheet of frigid air. <sighs> so, uh, so while you check, yeah, the, uh, uh, like, while, while the uh, other ship wait, uh, waits for you, um, do you want to enter? Yeah. All right. As you enter, <laughs> you, uh, the the uh, the uh, the frigid air seems to be a little overwhelming. I would like everyone to roll Constitution saving throw. As soon as I find my dice. Okay then. Uh. Uh. Seventeen. Everyone gets a plus four bonus uh, since I have a paladin aura. Nice. So that's a twenty-one for me. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm, I'm, okay, there's the dice. I'm gonna roll for for Bree uh, because um, yeah, this is gonna be really uh, really interesting. Uh, Thirteen. Oof. It doesn't really say what the Constitution uh, semi throw is, so I'm gonna roll for uh, Bree. That's ooh, eighteen uh, plus eight. That's a uh, twenty-six. What are the odds that he'll make a thirty? Uh, he'll make a thirty on the save with a D four. Oh, oh. Uh, I got a nineteen. Oh. What did you say? I actually I got a nineteen. He rolled a thirty on a Constitution saving throw. Celeste, uh, what do you for your Constitution saving throw? Con save is thirteen. 
Uh, unfortunately, it uh, seems a little much for you, um, Lonnie. I'm going to roll 5d6 points of cold damage on the failure. While for everyone else... Um, okay, so 3, 4... Uh, 3, 7... Uh, 11, 14... Uh, 19. Now I'm going to round that down to uh, 9. So... For some of you, like Apparatus, um, Bree, Mark, and Celeste, you take about 9 points of cold damage. Ooh. Yeah, it's quite cold. 72. Oh, Mark, you're at eight, uh, 74 hit points. Um, Apparatus, how many hit points are you at right now? 73? And 80, Lonnie? 81. Oh, so 73. You 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 did a you did a bunch of math and then you told told them what they what the damage they had. Yeah. So and uh, as as for you, Lonnie, you take about nineteen points of cold damage. Fun. And Oof. and Bree take, also takes uh a nine points of um cold damage, bringing his hit points down to eighty four. And Lonnie, uh, okay, so Lonnie, so fifty three hit points minus nineteen. That's so, thirty four. Yep, thirty four hit points. That sucks. Yep. That that's life. What, what do you want? That's true. And now I'm I'm the only one that's going to go ahead and take advantage of being able to put the rolls where everyone can see them. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Yeah, sorry about. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. My uh. Ugh, I hate country internet. Oof. Oh. Oh. Celeste, have you rolled your constitution save? I wasn't aware we had to make one. Yeah, because you had to, you had to like walk through the yes, this, uh, this like block of ice that I just walked through. Well, good to, well, good to, yeah, good to. Be, don't forget to roll a, uh, um, uh, uh, go, don't forget to roll a, a D4 as well. Alright. No. 16 plus a D4. What is the deep? Oh, no, that's from? a seven. Seventeen, and I got a glory paladin mark. Uh, I thought it was just a straight four because it's, it's a charisma modifier. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. I mess. I was mistaken. Go ahead. Ah, that's okay. Well, that's okay because I still got a twenty-two on that roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're you're able to resist the 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 frigid uh uh air, which means you take about nine points of of ice damage. We need hit points down to 61. Now, is everybody ready? Now, now that I got the uh, uh, map ready? Wait, uh, you didn't ask me. No, um, <laughs> Br uh, so Bree, Apparatus, Mark, Celeste, and Lonnie went through. You went to the top of the uh, Vista. Vista. Vis yeah, Vista. The inside of the restaurant is as richly decorated as exterior. Tiny silverware and dazzling uh. crystal uh, chandeliers leave the room sparkling with color. However, the dining room is abandoned, seats upturned, and plates of Austrian um, mo Montreal is left to go cold. Except the one table, set prior to place uh, beside the uh, grand uh, piano. There, a finger in her face, Profost Furious is enjoying every sp uh, spoonful of his soup. A trembling uh, elf waiter sits behind beside him, a frown on her face. But bravely standing ready with an open bottle of Andarian Red. So uh, yeah, Celeste cro yes, Celeste crosses her arms, which of which of course is inevitably going to draw attention to her inevitably going to draw attention to her cleavage and says, "Well, I hope you're enjoying your meal, Provost." Fifteen years. I have waited for this, with a chance to prove my theories correct, and for the perfect target for my revenge against the precious Five Nations. The Profos throws on his spoon, and a shimmer of light flickers across his skin. I'm not the only one who are grieving over the losses uh, of our gracious monarchs have inflicted on us, but I am the one with the power to do something about it. The Profos uh, shape, uh, human shape, uh, mails away, and where once stood a bookish man. Now stands a middle-aged gnome warden with, uh, with great waves of blonde hair. Her expression is a cruel mix of exhaustion and triumph. 
How many people oh. had to be saved to justify the last war? How many people ha that had to die to justify the mourning? We all deserve it, really. The Kyrians had to uh, had to come up and as, and as now it's time uh, uh, the time for Sharn to face disaster. You see, and you oh, can see, oh, look at me! And I you, and you have died. See, I better kill more people. Truly, this is a solution yeah. we're for. <laughs> you can see uh, Bree ten, uh, tense up. His mouth, uh, his, his mouth, uh, his mouth uh, scowling. Tableau Rasa, yeah, he's as, not, as, yeah. the, as the elves have wanted to say, let the host and six know that I, Arya or Krula, Eokoran, will wipe the slate clean. Your name is Bitchy McBitchface of Dipshitville, and we're not bothered to remember your actually your actual name. You're not there, Cole. Uh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you remember Provost. Why do I feel like someone's being insulted Sol right now? <laughs> yeah, so uh, Celeste will say something. Celeste will say similar. Celeste will say something similar in Col in Col in Col Col in Colstead. When we're done with you, no one's going to know or care who you are. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try. But uh, uh, and you remember what uh, uh, what uh, Laura has has told you. Actually, to, I, think uh, her. Her? Actually I, I think a lot of people saw her. Saw her. I think a lot. I gotta say, when I'm not in the group, you guys seriously let the villain talk for more than a quarter of a second. I would have <laughs> shot him by now. <laughs> Here's the thing. On the one That's hand, because... I get you want you want you would want to because it, it is irksome when they when they go on for a motive that makes no sense. On the other hand, if you open every fight with, oh, I'm just going to shoot them when they start talking. Technically, it it doesn't reflect great on your motive. And also, and also since why Lani is chaotic good, they're, they're not going to just immediately attack someone if, they're, if they yeah. haven't done anything hostile to them quite and yet. Also, we, and also, we let the villain monologue for the same reason that uh, no one in an Alfred Hitchcock movie movie goes to the cops right away exactly. because in the words of hitchcock himself they don't go to the police because it's dull <laughs> hey hey it was fucking hilarious when i fucking shot that werewolf like oh you finally arrived my evil oh why <laughs> yeah so it's do you have any questions for her i mean it is I mean, it is hilarious, but you're kind of robbing us of uh, what could be an important <laughs> info dump. Yeah. I didn't say, you know, to immediately just shoot them in the throat. You know, someone that won't immediately kill them so they can, you know, info dump while let spitting it, up blood. Yeah, let <laughs> the... Nice. Moving on. Let the the people are actually yeah, here. Yeah let, the, yeah, let the villain monologue, then I can come a... Kamehameha uh, uh, his ass with a, with a, ass. With a guiding bolt. Yeah, you're gonna come and come and ha her ass with a uh, with a guiding boat. But after the monologue, he was uh uh he was adequacy, you know. Yeah, and and also and also she and also I mean Celeste could use her trademark ice knife, but uh, yeah, she doesn't want to do collateral damage to the uh, to the waitress. All right. So what do you want? Uh, what do you want to ask her? Uh, said, uh, what thing? It says, uh, uh, what was the healing of those uh, bottles we had back in the uh, other place to deal with the ne uh, to deal with the problems of healing? You mean the good berry wine? Yeah. You probably still have those, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna chug, uh, chug before I entered the room, but I couldn't remember the exact amount of healing it yeah, did. You heal for exactly uh, twenty hit points. I took 19. I would like to not take that 19. <laughs> right. Uh, otherwise, it, uh, it's just your ordinary, very convenient healing potion. So, yeah. what do you want to say? Yeah, to nine you? point. Yeah, nine points of cold, cold da Yeah, nine points of cold damage. Celeste is like, eh, I'll cure wounds that later. <laughs> yeah. So, what 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 do you what do you want to ask the mastermind of this whole calamity? So. Let me get this straight. You planned this for 15 years, but your plan is ultimately wait for people more competent than you to gather the things you need for it, and also somehow not have them turn on you to stop your plan 
even though your plan hinged on them being actually good at what they do. Wait, his plan, or the, the, the or her plan was to avenge the morning with Morning Mark no. II Electric Boogaloo? No. 11 my years before my it happened? What I lost on my twin boys. They were uh, qualified in Quagwire by your noble Keen Boronel. They could have been great. Instead, they were cut down by a siege staff blast. They'll never finish the studies. They'll never earn their family legacy. Well, your solution is to take a lot of other people's innocent kids and kill them too. Well, I did target a shrine for a reason. The city isn't just the so world's largest. It's a Chinese symbol of the exe uh, excesses of Galifar. Only Throne Hood could hold much more cultural significance. So but destroy what, uh, what, like the mansions, blow up like the this the is my, or not the whole but, but, not but, 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 not, not, not the civilians. I can bring uh, the bear the power of the planar convergence. <laughs> Celeste glares. This is still my home, you idiot. Did this person go you're to plan the same and you're planning to <sighs> you're planning to drop it on it, and you're planning to drop my home on innocent people. What better way to uh, sound out a mess uh, message? No, if Postcard. no one's alive to hear the message, the message doesn't matter. I don't think uh, I don't think the, uh, that message is for the people of Sharn. And this this ritual, my pride and joy, the old Sharn, will we use the convergence to eliminate the Sharnia Mafia Zone, towers, Skyway, everything will fall. Not if we have anything to say about. Say about it, and you, and and you, and her and and, Cel and Celeste and Celeste, and you can tell Celeste is angry because her breath, yeah, because her breath is fogging. Uh, just, just one question: What do you have on the waitress to make her stick around? You know, in this tense interaction that we're having right now. Oh, uh, the t tips are being withheld until the conversation's over. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Right. Yeah. That is some amazing service. <laughs> well, that's why. Well, that's why. Well, that's why I eat here. That's why I eat here. And and Cel and Celeste beckons to the waitress. Come on, sweetie. You don't have to stick around for this. Well, how much is the bill? I'm tipping you twenty two percent at least. Check. <laughs> well, it's a good thing. Well, good thing. Uh, that's. Oh, uh, uh, and we will, and we will help you, sister. This is not the type of woman that you want to be near. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't re really need. I got a plus eight on that, you know. Having defense, having defense, uh, having defense uh, never hurts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It hurts them. Twenty-seven, baby. Uh, her her form a little qu uh, quakes a little, and she like steps uh, steps, uh, steps back. Um, the gnome ignores her. That, so, the Elvish machine cannot be stopped. <laughs> you, the Elvish machine cannot. You sent yeah and the apparatus, Mister Boom Boom Artificer, yeah. and Cole, Mister Stab Stab. Yeah, apparatus non binary. Yeah, uh, apparatus non binary. Yeah. Anyway, the lure is set. Uh, she, uh, she continues. The lure is set, and the work will be finished for me. Why? Well, that the keys you finish, it's over. <laughs> Alright. Everyone, crazy little gnome. Uh, crazy? Are you still in she, uh, she, uh, she chuckles. They call. Uh, it's true, they call, uh, they call me mad, but. They will see. Oh, uh, go. Uh, would you like. Uh, go ahead and roll a deception check. If you want to. Girl, uh, I, I'm. We're, we're both gnomes, and. This is, this is just beyond the pale. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's just kind of funny to hear you say that. Hmm. Beyond the, more like beyond the pathetic. Oh! Anyways, someone shoot this one. Oh. See? Uh, see? And, and, as as and, well, and before you... Uh, and with so, pleasure. With pl... My fa yeah. With pleasure. And the... And the... Yeah, and the... 
and and now I, and now Celeste's eyes start glowing. Is yeah, yeah. She casts ray of yeah. Prof yeah she casts her ray of frost Aria ice Koi beams. Cast aside her dining table with a mere flick of her hand. As the glass and colorway clash against the floor, where's the clown emerge from the carpets, dancing in the twisted patterns around her? The terrified waiter uh, uh, drops a bottle of wine and and runs uh, behind um, the up one of the upturned uh, tables. Everybody, well, I missed her, and I thought you said clowns emerged. So clowns. <laughs> <laughs> what? Entrance of the gladiators. Yeah, I was trying to make semi menacing though. Hmm, I'm trying to play this. It's not working. Give me a second. For some reason, the, uh... We need to roll initiative now, right? Yep. Yeah, personally, yeah, personally, I would, yeah, personally, I would have gone with, uh, yeah, Mars Bringer of War from Gustav Holtz, The Planets. Bum, 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 you have an add to game, uh, and then once it's a ju add jukebox proper, then you can play it. 21! 21 for uh, Celeste, and your initiative is a total of 3 for Apparatus. Ooh. Ah. I rolled a 20. Celeste rolled a 20. Honestly, though, yeah. Right, Mars, but it's it's done as like a, uh, as a polka. Reed rolled a 9. <laughs> Money? 16 is in chat. Okay, 16 for initiative, and Arya rolls a 12. Oop. All right. And, and and she rambles on about like why the pro uh, why she talks on the pro post, and she, and she will say uh, this. All the while, all the while you're fighting. Uh, while well, well, fighting. Why I take out the phone uh, the pro post? My family found a large just family in Noah Corvair. I need to be discreet. discreet. Eccentric, washed up, academic was a perfect cover to maintain suspicion and find allies in Clifftop. He was a partner of mine. He was interested, or rather, obsessed with our cosmology. He rubbed on about other worlds, much like ours. He mentioned names like Eberinus, Athas, Karen, Ebertori, even Earth, the Sea of Doors, and the First World. When he learned the truth of my intentions, I put an end to him, took up his identity, his appearance. It was an inspired plan, I must say. Yes, yeah, so you Celeste is just, Celeste is so just glad that everyone. Celeste is just you. glad that Celeste is just glad this gnome bitch didn't didn't mention uh, Ravnica or Theros. Yeah, she. Because uh, yeah. she's got free. Yeah, Celeste has friends in Ravnica, and her wife is from Theros. What kind of fucking inspired is she talking about? Bath salts and meth? <laughs> Cause I'm just saying! Yeah, so Celeste, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fall- uh, yeah, I'm falling. Th yeah, I'm falling through with that, uh, ray yeah, I'm falling through with that Ray of Frost attack. I'm pro- Probably working from disadvantage because she overturned a table and now she's behind cover. But I'm sorry. I just got for some reason I just got this mental image of like you know those clothes racks at like Walmart and shit with the with the ring. So you know it's in a circle and uh -huh. how like kids can hide in there. That's the mental image I have right now. <sighs> I, or yeah, yeah. Seuss did that in an episode of Gravity Falls when he, when he was having trouble talking to girls. Her face is good. I'm a Seuss. Uh, by the way, she. Has, uh, uh, by the way, two things. You notice that that she has. Uh, you seem to notice that she has also cast, uh, cast a couple spells: Fire Shield, Mage Armor, and Stone Skin. This so is gonna be a tough fight. So, uh, wait, how would you be able to tell? She's casting it behind a table unless she's shouting it like she's an anime character, which I guess would not be out of character for this. Yeah, they probably were. <laughs> true. Although, uh... uh it's true. Yeah, that's true, but, I, but I'm still... But I'm still going Ray... 
I'm still going Ray, Ray of Frost to kind of test whether she's got the warm shield or the chill shield. Go ahead and we'll attack. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Let's see, 16. I got a plus eight, uh, plus eight spell attack. A plus eight spell attack. That's a 24 all day. Does that hit? If that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, that's gonna be two uh, D eight. That's gonna be uh, six points of cold damage. She takes six points of cold damage. Um, as as a way, Frost uh, like, her, like her, uh, graces her sho her her shoulder. Oh no! The frigid queen of Sharn is gonna is coming to kick my ass. I better put on a warm shield <laughs> against fire. <laughs> Uh, having said that, uh, you said that they had and, a and having test and having tested the and having tested the water, she yes, yeah, Celeste Celeste lets her par lets her party know <laughs> try to avoid using fire yeah, you know, trying to avoid using fire spells. Uh, you, you, she, yeah, she, what the hell is up with everyone? Yeah, okay, okay. She takes the, the cold. Okay, okay. Would that be your turn, Celeste? Yeah, that that'll be my turn. What the what? hell is up with everyone uh, 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 having the fire defense? Like, like, I can't use my I can't use my flamethrower. My country is useless. Right. Uh, that said, I I, uh, I will. Uh, Mark's, I will start. Mark's up. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my 40 foot movement speed to get here. Uh, then I'm gonna use a bonus action to cast Wrathful Smite, uh, and then. I am going to attack twice with my glaive. Okay, go ahead and, and roll your attack. Okay, attack number one. That is a 26 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, Wait, be sure to calculate your your slashing damage and your uh, uh, and your separate uh, like and your radiant damage separately. Uh, this is um, psychic damage. Okay. Uh, so this first off. Um, they take three psychic damage and have to make a wisdom saving throw. Maybe okay. you're not an artificer, otherwise it'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> or not artificer, I'm sorry. Uh, Warforge. Oh, that was a war weird looking, okay, it's a weird uh... looking terminator. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Uh, oh, she's, going to use, she's going to use her legendary um, uh, resistance. Okay, well, it still takes the damage. Um, Natural 20. Alright. If it's oh, uh, shit, legendary it resistance, they don't roll. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, it just yeah, doesn't happen. Legendary, it's an auto <laughs> success. So she, um, she still takes three points of psychic damage. Success. She still takes three points of psychic damage. Aha, uh -huh, here's the final boss of the campaign. Oh, fuck the down in one round. Shit. Okay, um, and they take 13 slashing damage. Uh, 13 slashing damage? Slashing damage. Now, oh, I'm writing it down, I'm writing it down uh, by half, and that and she would take 6 points of slashing damage. Okay, uh, attack number 2 then. That is a 24 to hit. That hits. And then another uh, 12 points of magical slashing damage. That. Oh, wait. You said non-magical. Okay. Uh. No, m magical slashing damage. Uh, both uh, of them. Okay, so, and then t another 12? Okay. Another 12. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be the end of my turn. Got it. Bonnie, you're up. Uh, yeah, hey, they, 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 had, they had spells to cast before. Uh, she had spells to cast beforehand, Liam. I, don't know, I, I still like the idea of oh, she has to make a fire a shield, no jutsu. Do you have to make a hide behind table? Uh, no uh, she has to make a constitution save to uh, to maintain her um, to maintain her concentration. <clears throat> that's a nineteen, so that's a success. She's still able to maintain her um, concentration on stone skin, right? Alani, you up? Hold on just a second.
All right, let's see. Fuck did jukebox heroes just oh, start and playing? By, oh, head. and by the way, uh, and by the way, she casts a uh, firebolt at uh, at you, Mark. She's going to make a, an attack roll. Legendary action, yo. That's a fourteen hit. Oh. Okay. She misses. As as they. Act- What's the lowest AC in this party? Like sixteen. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Anyways, uh, Lonnie is going to shuffle over here. And that kind of difficult terrain, so. But that's why I didn't shuffle that far. I don't. Okay. Would have gone further, but difficult terrain. Uh, anyways, um, then I'm going to go ahead and bless. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use that. Use a uh, second level spell slot so I can bless everyone. Uh, everyone, enjoy your improved saves and attack rolls. Yay! <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, get that. Yeah, we get that. A D4 to our. Uh, roll, yeah, oh, to our like, rolls. Yeah, our attacks that. and our saves. Nice, and that includes a plus four from Mark, which is nice. Okay, that code for plus 69. Yeah, uh, <laughs> plus four, you have to be within 10 feet of me in order to get that bonus. Fair point, so... fair point. That That's be- fine, the D4 for everyone should still help. Anyways, uh, that will be my turn. Arya is going to cast. Um... And yeah, Arya, uh, Arya is going to cast anti magic field uh, on herself. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, counter spell. Wouldn't that cancel out all the spells that she's placed on herself? No. I'm, okay. I'm, let, me che- let me check the. Uh, uh, <laughs> the it, it's a donut anti magic field. Wait, my, my ballista is up. Uh, suppose, okay, I never mind. I, I take that back. Uh, she doesn't okay. cast. Um, yeah, because yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, yeah, it would, it would, yeah, it would, yeah, it would, yeah, it would take, yeah, it would take away no, most no, of our combat options. That, please, it would take away most of our combat options, but it would also rob her of her buffs. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Considering there's a paladin right there. That's true. That's true. I take that back. She doesn't cast anti magic field. She instead is going to cast. Oh. Um, banish. Uh, she is going to cast. Um, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, hmm. She is going to cast a uh, whole person on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, whole person is. Concentration okay. spell, so she couldn't cast it anyway if she wanted no, to maintain. No, 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 no. She can ca- she can cast it in two spells at a time, and she is going to cast a uh, whole person on one, two, three, four, five on uh, on Lonnie, um, Celeste, Apparatus, and Mark. Cool. I'm still going to try to counter spell it, like I've been trying at, to say. At level seven, I can still make the attempt. It's just a roll. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, um... Nope! Oh, it failed. It was still worth a shot. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, right? so, uh, so, uh, so, Yeah, so, and we also have to make a wisdom save because, uh, because level 7, uh, whole person, that means all of you will have, like, all five of you have to make, um, wisdom saving throw, and that includes, um, Bree. Oh good, yeah. Oh good. Remember, I used to have oh, your good. Yeah, try, yeah, try to make it. Okay, I rolled a twenty. We rolled a twenty-one on his wisdom save. I don't have proficiency, but I still have a, but I still have a capped wisdom score. Though so that so a plus five to the roll, roll to seventeen. Yeah, does a twenty-two do anything? Yes, it does. You were able to like uh, resist, uh, like the, uh, actually like much stuff. You're able to like this like resist 
this of this unseen grass around your body. Uh, Lonnie, unfortunately, uh, seven. unfortunately, you are not able to resist as you find yourself like unable to move. Mark, apparatus. Ooh. Are we doing? So I get for playing fair. What? 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 Did I say? I guess, I could have sworn Apparatus was going with me, though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I thought, I, thought, I thought the same. I wouldn't make oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! D4! I forgot the D4. No. Plus, remember? Uh, we rolled a uh, total of 20, uh, 20, uh, 22. Yeah, I did for. Yeah, 22. 22. Okay, that yeah, that would, yeah, that would yeah. I just roll, I just rolled a three on a d4, so uh, yeah, that would have been a 24. I still would have made my wisdom save. Yeah. So, Bonnie, Mark, don't forget to roll your d4s. I already did. I did. And still got a 20. Um, yes. Yeah, sorry, Lonnie. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Apparatus, what you roll for any wisdom save? Who do we just? Uh, I need to roll a wisdom save. Wait. Uh, shit. Uh. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's just the uh, it's just the bots. Uh, it's just one. Hey, uh, that's, that's a rude thing to call. Um, 15, apparatus. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. 15, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, 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 uh, you're, 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 you are yeah, doesn't that mean, uh, doesn't that mean we lose Bless? Is, yeah, because it's Bless, uh, concentration? It sure is. Well, uh, shit, ladies and gentlemen. And this reminds me of the, uh, the other time that uh, Warforged died on my watch. Eh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. so again, Lonnie and Akbaris are paralyzed. Yet, yeah, I got it. Got Bollocks. It. And there, and there goes our buff. And this is what happens when you roll a, a low initiative, or in my case, one. Wah, wah. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> Oof. Oof. It is now a uh, breeze turn. I see like one, two, three, four, five, six. He, he runs up to um. He, he runs up to Ar- uh, Arya. Um, Aria and uh, makes this attack. Well, not only is he, is he going like before he makes the attack, he's going to um, use the bonus action to cast serious might on her. Uh, uh, serious might on her. And wait, wait. How is Bree casting searing smite? Late at the Iron Crown. Oh, oh yeah. And, I, like, I was pretty sure Bree's a fighter. Yeah, I forgot about that. Awesome yeah. sword. And he is going to make his he's going to make two of his attacks. Sixteen plus nine, that's a uh, twenty-five. He's gonna make uh, do a lot of damage uh, to her, I swear. Also he's going to do distract, distracting strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to do distracting strike on her. So Look, it's King Boar now! You can go kick his ass! What? Smack! <laughs> Alright, so that's 4 plus 8, that's 12 points of, of, of magical. Of, of, so 4 plus 8, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, 12 points of uh, magical slashing damage, and 5 points of fire damage, bring out to 2, which means a total of uh, four, 50, uh, 15 points of um, damage to her. I was like, Strikes at her again. I uh, see. I see. Strikes at her. Uh, uh, she, uh, she lets up a, a, a pain, a pain grunt as uh, as he likes. Uh, like he's trying to fit, uh, put a bit of a nasty cut on her. He's going to uh, attack her again. That's a twenty. That hits. And I'm pretty sure he has um his uh, uh the fire damage also uh, also lasts for a minute. Four, ten, that's five, ten, eighteen points of a slashing damage. Uh, eighteen points of total damage. Yeah. Uh, leaving behind, like, uh, like nasty cuts on her, uh, uh, on her. 
and her clothes start to like uh, start to go red. And that ends. Concentration answers. check. Yeah, yeah, concentration check. Thank you. That means natural twenty for uh, for her stone skin right. and for her uh, other spell to concentrate on. She rolls. I believe that would uh, that would be also fire shield. No, fire shield doesn't require concentration. Major armor, then? Nope. It's not either. Oh, yeah, I person, didn't think major armor required concentration. Oh, yeah, on whole her person. On, on her constitution save, and she succeeds. Yeah. And that ends his turn. Apparatus, it's your turn. I believe you can uh, escape. Okay, paralyzed. Nope, you can't do anything. <laughs> At the uh, end of your turn, you can attempt escape. Yeah, can, can, you, uh, can you escape from a whole person? I need to check. Yeah, I, you think you can at, yeah, I think you no, can man. at least repeat. I think you can at least oh, repeat yeah, the wisdom save. Oh yeah, you can roll wisdom saving throw. You can, you can roll, 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 you can roll, go ahead and roll wisdom saving throw. Okay then. Seventeen. Does that dead? Uh, nope. Save me. Nope. Fuck. Mother. This is what got Imagine me in the first place. Imagine the Terminator. Going, uh, going, kill Sarah Connor and then short circuits. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, everybody listen to the music, by the way. Okay, I'll, I'll be, I'll be sure to like uh, play the music real quick. Uh, Celeste, it's your turn now. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Because now, na- yeah. Because now, there we go. Now I'm, <clears throat> yeah, cause uh, yeah, now yeah, yeah. This is a fi- final boss fight. Yeah, everything's com- everything's coming at- coming out. Radiant soul, radiant soul, radiant soul. Arms of the astral, se- arms of the astral, se- arms of the astral self. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, Celeste starts glowing. Wings wings sprout from her back, and then her- and then this scarf appears floating over her. Sh- I suppose you have to have scarf the spell magic. floating over her shoulder. What does this remind these are, me of? These are... Ace Combat music. Like a lot. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that plays Ace Combat. Yay! <laughs> but to be honest, I only played this, uh, the last one, Ace Combat 7, but regardless. I'm yeah, I'm gonna. Some... Three? Four? Four was the first one that I did, like, majorly. And let's see, I'm gonna... Yeah, position... Yeah, position myself hovering over... And position myself hovering over the table, and then... And then I'm gonna end my turn casting... Casting a first level guiding bolt. Go ahead and roll Quick your question. Where's the waitress at this point? Go, uh, go ahead and roll the advantage. Go ahead and roll the advantage because of the because of recent, uh, the distracting strike. Uh, all right, does it? All right, with advantage. All right, with advantage. Okay. Let's... Nineteen, a uh, nineteen on the D twenty. That's a twenty-seven to hit. That's a hit. And uh, and while and while she says, "I will die too," or, I will die by ass, but my family is gone. My life's work has come to fruition. There's nothing left for me to live but but for but my legacy. And what a grand legacy it will uh, be. Peace, rot of destruction. Oh, Ras Hora for the five night. And, and before she can finish, you hit her with her um. Kamehameha. Exactly. Pum, 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 pum. Or let's on set. Oh, and, oh, and that's and that's going to be. Let's see, thirteen, thirteen plus. Yeah, yeah, eight because I get bonus radiant damage because my radiant soul's act active. That's going to be. Uh, you know, it's thirteen. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be twenty-one points of radiant damage all told. All right. Oh, and she gets a face full of a radio, uh, of, of radio light into her face. I yeah, face, face full of divine laser. 
in, in, in retaliation, she is going to use another one of her legendary actions, and give me a second. And she is going to uh, to cast. Uh, okay, let's see what her spell. Oh, uh, what her list of spells are. And she is going to cast a uh, magic. Uh, yeah, magic missile at you. Um. Magic missile at at uh, at you. Um, uh, Celeste, second level. Yeah, so take yeah, a forty-four plus. Yeah, forty-four plus four. Okay, let me roll the damage. Oh. I swear I had this on loop. Oh well. Oh, there we go. So. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 11, 15, 19 points of, uh, of force damage. And yeah, you take 19 points right. of force damage when you get hit points down to 42. Answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Good, th yeah, yeah, good, th yeah, good thing, they yeah, good, th yeah, good thing Celeste can heal. Would that be your turn? Yeah, that'll be yeah, that'll be your turn. <laughs> they'll pop her. For, yeah, uh, still pop uh, her she's for twenty one points of damage. Her action to fly up thirty feet, generally the power of uh, the power of the convert of the convertus engine. <laughs> the, uh, flies up thirty feet. And she just aren't we in a aren't we in a freaking restaurant? It doesn't have any, it doesn't have roofs. It doesn't have rooftop. And and Cele and Celeste is also taking wing. Remember? Yep. Yeah, she's at plus at 30, uh, 30 feet. Doesn't provoke any uh, opportunity attacks. I'm just picturing now. You know, one of those aerial punch him up fights from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that's that's what this. That's probably what this is going to turn into between the between the boss and Celeste. Alrighty, uh, Mark, you up? All right. So, okay. So. Uh, so. Uh, okay. You move up. You move up, and uh, that's about it because you can't hit her with your with your um, glaive. Yeah, reach weapon only reaches ten feet. She's thirty feet up in the air. <laughs> hmm. Wait, she can concentrate on three spells at once? Well, when you're crazy, crazier than a uh, schizophrenic, uh, all your split minds can concentrate on different spell each. And then, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and she's not flying, yeah, and she's not flying with any of her own spells. She's flying through the, yeah, the power given to her by the convergence engine. Right. Alrighty, um, Mark, what do you want to do now? Besides, you know, switch to a ranged weapon. I'm gonna jump as hard as I can. <laughs> uh, Mark. I, um, I cast Guiding Bolt and I rolled in 18. 18 hits? Uh, that is... 17 points of radiant damage, and the next person has advantage to hit. Alrighty, um, as she, as she flies up, you, you quickly, uh, throw a bolt of light at her, hitting her. And I believe that, uh, that ends the turn. Um, yeah, nothing I can do much with my bonus action. Lonnie, go ahead and roll a wisdom save. Hold on. Uh oh, who left? Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, oh yeah, you're you're able to break through her spell. Uh, take a uh, break through her through her spell, which unfortunately that uses up your turn. I still flip her off. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the somatic component? Big old middle finger, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm trying to find out who... I, I think someone left. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um... And, and it's now, um, uh, the gnome's turn. The other gnome. Alrighty, uh... Nice. Yeah, it, it, okay, uh, uh, it's now uh, her second layer's turn on her, on her second round. She tries to, like, channel the, channel, uh, channel another, uh, another aspect of the convergence engine, but didn't, didn't seem to work, much to her frustration. It is now for real, her womp, turn. Womp. And she, and she looks around, oh, uh, like, she looks, she looks, oh, she looks around as she still is, uh, flying up. And she is going to whoop. And she is going to cast hmm, lightning bolt at um. Yeah, she's going to cast lightning bolt at no. Yeah, she's going to cast lightning bolt at level five. So who's getting zapped? <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, like the butt at level eight, uh, at level five. So that means, uh, ooh, that means. Yeah, she's yeah, she's going to cast. Um, uh, she's going to. Uh, so I'm pleased that uh, the the, uh, the lightning bolt is going to cast that you Celeste. So roll a deck save. <laughs> good thing. Yeah, good thing that. No, she's going to roll. Uh, she's going. Yeah, she's going. Yeah, she's going to roll. Good thing that's another thing I'm proficient with. Alright, all right. does a 25 do anything? Yes, it does. And you take a 6, 8, 13, 16, um, 18, 24, 29, 32, 34, 39, so you take uh, 19 points of lightning damage. <laughs> 19 points of lightning dash. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> you, you fly out of the way in, in time, but it's not, uh, but it's barely enough for it to, like, uh, uh, yeah. You're able to get out of the lightning, but you still feel some of the lightning's effect on you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Apparatus. Yeah, I, I am definitely, like, I am definitely burning a second level spell slot uh, on your I would wounds. also like to roll to roll dexterity save without, uh, with disadvantage. What, me? Yeah. Because she's, she's like she's cast between you and um or like she's catching near you and um no that doesn't make any sense how far should fly up up Celeste oh uh, is she uh, yeah only oh, yeah okay. only only like ten only like ten feet she's like hovering above the tables got it uh, okay so just uh, just uh, just Celeste don't don't worry it's okay <laughs> was the yeah it was the gnome that decided to. <sighs> Yeah, decided to do the M. Bison fly up above everyone else thing. <laughs> Something wrong, Colonel! You came here expecting to face a madman and find instead a god? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Alrighty, uh, so. I'm gonna. Ch yeah, and that is up her turn. She's going to try to, not, uh, to use another aspect of the convergence uh, engine. Same result, much to her frustration. Man, this bitch needs some magic maxi pads. <laughs> for Oof. all this fucking incontinence. Yeah. It's now Breeze, uh, Breeze turn. He looks around. Um, switches. Yeah. It, sh it goes over to the, uh, to the, uh, to the waitress. Stands by her as he raises his crossbow. And aims at, and, uh, fires. Five plus four, that's a nine. That's definitely a miss. Yeah, that's def definitely a miss, and he will lose with bonus action. And that and that ends his turn. He would have needed a bonus action just to pull his weapon out. Uh, basically, it's a free action to switch weapon, but only once per turn. Oh, uh, okay, that's right. That's, that's, right. that's just the house where I came up with, for simplicity's sake. You know what I mean? 
Does that make sense? Yep. Alrighty. It is now uh, Apparatus' turn. Go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Six. Ugh. You're still you are still trapped with uh, with the with hold person. I'll give you a fan next round. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll again with high results, hopefully. Okay, then uh, let's roll again. Fifteen. Nope, still not uh, still not enough to get out of a hold person. God damn it! I didn't. I'm I didn't even didn't even get to make my damn ballista. You're still time. I want to make my ballista and shut the guy who, who paralyzed me. Right? The, the gal, yeah. Well, the gal who, who paralyzed me. Kick his ass at last. <laughs> She's the... the... Yeah, I still insist that apparatus uh, would have made, made more sense... Uh, ma would have made, made more... Ugh. It would have made more sense uh, that he was uh, dealing with the machine, but okay. But regardless. Okay. Um, whose turn? Whose turn is up next? Um, no, uh, Celeste, you're up. Oh, fun! Oh, fun! Fun! Oh, fun! Fun! Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna spend this turn to yeah burn yeah burn a second le yeah burn my second level spell slot to cast cure wounds. Let me see. Yeah, five yeah, five. Uh, and if you have any potions, so maybe time and loadings. If you have any potions, maybe more action efficient to just drink a potion and continue to attack. Do you have any I potions, Celeste? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think I... Yeah, I think I still have... Yeah, I think I still have, uh... Yeah, at least, uh, three... So, yeah, do... How, do how many that. doses... Yeah, how many doses is a, is a bottle of Goodberry wine good for? Five. Yeah, so you're, you're good. Uh, oh, yeah, to I've got... Keep attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna ch yeah, chug a... Yeah, instead... Yeah, instead I'm gonna chug a dose of Goodberry wine, get myself back... To Back up to yeah, yeah, four and a forty forty three hit points, and instead I'm gonna burn another first level spell slot. Yeah, to yeah to slap this bitch with another guiding bolt. Oh boy! Oh boy! Another. Uh, I'll be back, uh, I'll be back in, a, in a bit. Sure. Alright, so, uh, so, um, Celeste, are you there? Uh, Celeste, are you there? They're probably having connection issues. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna go over to Mark. Mark, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am. Oh, okay. I'm gonna cast. Oh, that's that will work. I can. I I could offer a suggestion if you would like. Sure. Uh, with your wonderful aura. 
is since you can't hit them anyway, maybe move here. That way apparatus can get a benefit of your aura for getting out of that paralysis effect. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move there and then I'm going to cast command um, on her. What, what, what's uh, most locked? And is a first level spell, so. Counter spell! Um, Alright. Wait, just. You're gonna. A uh, first level. You... No, this is good. It burned their reaction means they can't. They, they, they can't stop. They, they can't stop anything else this turn. I yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> That's a... Oh, wait. Um, are you hurt as well? Uh... Actually, if, 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 if you're gonna cast a spell on her. You cast counter spell, so you got a choice. Yeah, yeah, I I, I did cast a spell, but I'm just asking. Um, no, I, 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 I am a okay. Okay. By the way, she, 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 she's, she's going to use her. Um, she's going to use her. Um, yeah, did you catch that? I dealt 23 points of re ready and damage. Okay. Wow, that's actually oh, that's actually not bad. 52 ready points of damage. Ouch. And she's going to cast um, yeah. a fire bolt at. Yeah, she's going to use her fire bolt as part of her legendary, her legendary action at. Um, no, she's, yeah, she's going to cast fire bolt at um, at you uh, at you, Mark. Okay. That's a fifteen hit. Nope. Okay, and on your turn, Celeste, she's going to cast a fire bolt on you. Does the 24 hit? Uh, unfortunately it does. And since she's a 16th level spell, that means she will do 3d8 points of, um, fire damage. 3d10, 3d10. I misheard that as 16th level spell. <laughs> um, you know, she's a 16th level caster, so... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Just looking at that, it's like... Yeah. Can't, yeah, cantrip scale up with, uh, total character level. No, 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 no. As in, like, I was think like, like, um, you know, first level spell slot, nine. second level spell, all, like, yeah. way yeah. past nine. Nine. 15, 16th level. 18 points Fuck. of fire damage. 18 points of fire damage. Uh, 18, point, 18 points of fire damage. We need it down to 25 hit points. As you like, sling spell left and right. Misses, um, uh, yeah. Uh, it hits you, it, it hits you, um, uh, uh, Celeste, but it misses Mark, hitting the, uh, desk, and everything starts to, uh, starts to burst into flame. Alrighty, that, uh, will that be your turn, uh, Mark? Yeah, that, that was my turn. Lonnie, you're up. Good job. You managed to make it where it's not worth casting fire at you, and you're out of range for me to do a lot of my melee shenanigans, so I guess we're stuck with me being active again, and guess what? I can do this all day. Uh, I bless everyone all over again. <laughs> nice. Nice. If I have nothing else to spend my spell slots on, guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have fun having figuring out a way to get rid of every single bless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would that be your turn? Hello. Uh, I'm then with uh, I am then uh, with my move action. I'm just gonna I am since this is a nice bartending desk. I'm gonna find a nice uh, safe spot to to get cover. Yeah, she is going to oh, as part of her lay. Actually, she's going to move. Um, uh, she's going to move here. Uh, fl uh, fly over there, so she could be out of uh, everybody else's range. Don't have the spell magic. That's, this is a part of her lair action, remember? So. No, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, like, to, to seriously, no one had the spell magic in the group. Mm -hmm. Oh well, let's do that. Have fun. The spell magic. Yeah, <laughs> what's that? that? One of the most useful, or, or not, uh, one of the most useful spells in the game. <laughs> uh, no, I actually don't have that. <laughs> Alright. Um, who's up next? Arya is up next. So that means she is going to cast Eye Bite on you, uh, Lonnie. Okay. 
Uh, I bite, so that means you have to roll a wisdom saving throw. And since you're a gnome, you roll with advantage. I sure do. 23! You succeeded! I, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, it looks like you did. That was that was the previous one when I was getting out of the paralysis. Okay, okay. Uh, no. A, nope. a 15 and 11, so... Uh, she commands you to fall asleep. Your conscience. Wait, I thought you said I bite. I, that is I bite, yes. <laughs> However, unfortunately that means you have to give up on her concentration for a whole person. That means, apparatus, you're free. <sighs> and, uh, and Lonnie is now unconscious. Oh. And that ends her turn. She's going to try another, uh, uh, get, uh realizing that all of but her, uh, Leody Fly are gone. She's not going to use any other alert actions this, uh, this turn. Bree is up. He's going to try, uh, he's still going to, like, move up uh, on the table with difficult terrain. Reloads, uh, aims his crossbow and, uh, fires. 19 plus 4, that's a 23! Yeah, that's a 23. Uh, unfortunately, that means he, uh, uh, unfortunately, since it's not a magical weapon, that means... 11! That means 6 points of piercing damage! Uh, 6, uh, six points of, uh, uh, of piercing damage. I say, I say pierces her, uh, her, uh, her shoulder. She, uh, she, uh, she lets out the apple pain. It's a turn. Oh wait, uh, I forgot to add in the. Uh, oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I, the I, I, the aura. That would be a nineteen. She fails on her concentration for I bite, so that means she uh, she loses con uh, you gain uh, we gain consciousness, um, Lonnie. And loses concentration on um, Stone Skin, so that means she'll take regular damage from from then on. Nice going, Bree. I'm gonna have to thank a couple of the uh, player for it later. Nice. Hyperatus, it's now your turn. You have your wand out as uh, thanks to your action earlier. Okay then. Um, I'm gonna build my uh, uh, my ballist. You, you quickly build your, your force ballista uh, near your uh, near vicinity. As an action, you can use your bonus action to order it to fire. Uh, I'll use it against the. All right, the gnome. Uh, who's who's still up? The the gnome, the, the, the only one. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. shoot the gnome with my ballista. Alrighty, go ahead and roll attack. Okay, that's uh, that's a spell. That's a spell attack, uh, right? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. So. Bro. Shit. Nineteen. Just, that, just that hits. Hit. That hits. And she gets knocked, and she, and she, like, kind of gets, like, knocked down a little, like, over here, basically. Go ahead and roll damage. That's, I believe, is, uh... Let me check, let me check the, uh, uh, the subclass for the Artificer, the Ar uh, Artillerist. Yeah, 2d8 force damage. Go ahead and roll 2d8 points of force damage. 2d8 force of damage. 8. Eight. It's still, it's still enough to like knock her a little. Eight points of that, and she starts to like gloat about all the things of uh, what she couldn't do to the city. She gets knocked out a little. Really want, uh, really want a piece of her, and she's not looking too good there. Would that be your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Celeste, you're up. Okay. Okay, Celeste is gonna chug an yeah, chug another dose of good bear berry wine. The bottle's still in her hand. Oh god, she looks like a wino at this point. <laughs> uh, it's gonna we need uh, up that's gonna give her hit points. Yeah, and she, and she's gonna gl and she's gonna cast another gun guiding bolt with a glare with a glare and I could do this all day, bitch. <laughs> Shouldn't you be drunk by now, considering you drank like 
four fifths well, of it's... a gallon within like twenty seconds. It's good berry. It's good berry wine. It's a he- it, it's it, it's basically a healing potion. Only it's you know. So yeah, you know, the, the, the Fre- Freya would have been passed out and possibly dead by now. <laughs> nah, she got. Nah, she got a high con. Got a high con. Yeah, she had a light beer. Asked if she could roll Constitution save against it and roll a one. <laughs> Remember? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, seven, seventeen. Yeah, does a twenty-five hit? 25 definitely hits. Alright, so that's gonna be 46 plus 8. Ooh, I got a couple of sixes this time. I'm 12, 15, 16 is. Uh, yeah, 24 points of radiant damage. Oh, yeah, it hits it really good, and she's just like. Wow, 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 wow. Just like getting knocked from apparatus and useless. She's not looking. She's looking really rough here. And that'll be my turn. Uh, by the way, she's going to cast um, another uh, another uh, fire butt as part of her um, cantrip at uh, at you, Lonnie. Fifteen. That's a miss. Yeah, the butt that you are starting to burst into flame. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to. Oh, you probably think it's probably, uh, uh, you probably think it's a good idea to move, but you do you. Guys, it's a gay bar because it's absolutely flaming. <laughs> 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 Mark, you're up. Bad joke, but I'm laughing anyway because well, it was funny. Uh, <laughs> Funny's I'm funny. I'm gonna get off the flaming gay bar. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. Uh, I guess I'll cast another command because that seems to eat up a bunch of spell slots for them. Go. She's yeah, gonna be a She's going to make her Western saving throw because oh yeah she's a no. I almost forgot. Oh, she rolled a dirty twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because... that, that beats a fifteen. Okay, should have done with the guiding bolt, but never mind. Um, that, that's, is that your, is that your, your turn? I'm gonna use a bonus action to heal up the nine points of damage that was dealt to me. Uh, all the way back in the beginning. Um, 83. I'll be right back. Alrighty. On, on the lower action, she is going to, like, move around, uh, right over there. And it's her turn. And it's that layer turn. And it's now, um, Lonnie's turn. Lonnie sh- uh, shuffles out. It, it, it being difficult to range, you can't go that far, so he just goes over to this table. And addresses the other gnomes. I oh, suppose you have to be from Zalago, or you realize by this point that you're not getting good value for your trades with me. As it is, I can just keep going. Bless all over again. <laughs> uh, she she kind of like scowls at you in response. And would that be your would, would that be your turn? Yeah. Alrighty then. Okay. Um, it is now. I believe it's now. Uh, it is now. Um. Uh, it it is now uh, Arya's turn, and she is going to cast Wall of Force on herself. It creates sphere, um, uh, uh, sphere around herself. She's That's like, just cheating, right? She, uh, she, she whips out like a powder made from uh, crushing clear uh, gemstone, and she's going to maintain concentration on it. Answer turn. Re, uh, uh, re ceases and is. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, alrighty, so... Uh, so yeah, please, it's like, well, shit. And, uh, and I push away and it's like, and looks to the, uh, uh waiter says, don't worry. Who can you get out of this? The, uh, the waiter, uh, nods, though, though a little quaking from all the, uh, chaos, commotion that's, uh, uh, that's causing, uh, by you and, uh, and her. Her as in, yeah, no. And that ends, um, Bree's turn. Apparatus, you're up. Okay, then. So, what do you want to do? Um... Uh, so... The gnome has the... Yeah, it has the fire shield thing. Let me see. Well, I'll order my ballista to shoot again, so... Yeah, she has the wall force up. And uh, then... No. Uh, what could I... What could I use? Would shatter, would shatter work? You can go ahead and... Hmm... Let me see... Okay. I think you can physically uh, pass through the wall... Can... Uh, do you think shatter can actually work with wall force? It, it's immune to all damage, it can't be dispelled by the spell magic. Uh, unfortunately, like, there's no easy way to get rid of it, period. It's... It's kind of a... Well, I guess we don't have a turn for a while. Alright, who wants to play poker? Oh, <laughs> <sighs> right, well, I, I know. Let's play I just summon fight. a steed in the meanwhile. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's ten minutes where, uh, on the one hand, we can't attack them, but none of their spells can get out, so... We could Question. ignore her. Quick Question. question, does air go through that barrier? It's ten minutes. She won't. It, it, there, there's there's air enough for ten minutes. Oh. Anyway, I I suggest you guys play I Spy with My Little Eye. I'll go first, even though I'm not even there. I Spy with My I Little Eye. A flying little steam. bitch. Alrighty. So um, uh, so I practice. What do you want to do? Um. Is is she a? Uh, I'll make a, I'll make, uh, I'll make the, uh, how does it called, the ready action? Yeah, ready action, he, yeah, uh, uh, so is Bree, Bree also made the ready action, so, yeah, all of you made your re I'll ready action? Yeah, I'll make, uh, I'll be uh, ready, one. Does the anybody have the delayed black fireball? She, the moment she, uh, the, uh, disabled her shield, I don't have that yet. I'll order, oh, I'll order my turret to fire, and... And we're back. Sorry, my that's what, browser, that will, that my will browser hiccup. Yeah, she is going to cast another fireball as part of her um, legendary action at you, apparatus. Can't. What? Your firebolts can't penetrate the force barrier. Right. I, I thought it was the other way around. Okay. Never mind. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna spend my ten minutes summoning a camel. <laughs> so there's a camel here, guys. You're at a uh, bar. Right, Might right as well, you know. Wait, wait. Can Take I it. choose the point where it's in? Because if so, I'm gonna summon a camel inside of the wall of force. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, I can. There is now a very stinky celestial camel. <laughs> Inside of the wall of force. She's going to make a break. She's going to make a concentration. Uh, she's going to have to make a, a constitution to test to uh, like tries to uh, like kick us the snow. It's so overwhelming. That's your one. I want you. Ha have any of you ever been spat at by a camel? <laughs> yeah, it fucking hurts. Yeah, thankfully uh, not. Yeah, so uh, so fortunately for Mark, she uh. He, uh, fortunately for Mark, he's able to, uh, the, the camel was, uh, was uh, the, uh, the aurora, aroma of the uh, camel is too much for, uh, for, for our gnome enemy, so, yeah, the, the wall forest dissipates. <laughs> <laughs> that, she just uh... looks so embarrassed. That poor, that poor summon, can that poor summon camel, though, it's gonna have fall damage now. 
Yeah. <laughs> like 10 feet, I think. Wait, is it 30 feet? 30. Yeah, 30 feet, so it's going to take about uh, 1, 4, 6 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. And it's going to. Yeah, it's, it's fine. That is clever, Mark. That is clever. You get an inspiration point for for that. That is very creative. Cool. Okay. Alrighty, so I believe it's now Lonnie's turn. Okie doke. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Sustaining blast and. Uh... Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to have the uh, other gnome is going to get to enjoy making a dexterity save uh, because they admit they may be resistant to fire, but they aren't resistant to radiant damage. They get to enjoy some sacred flame. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. That's a failure. <laughs> and how much does she uh, does she take? Five radiant damage. Not yeah. much, but it's more than I would with Firebolt right now. Yep. Uh, she starts to like burst with with this white flame around you, and she's like, oh, 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 oh. "Not fireproof enough, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good old fashioned holy hand grenade. Uh, then with my uh, move actions, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna tuck into cover, and I'm good. Alrighty. Um. Aria, it is now Aria's turn, and she is going to cast uh, another thing of magic missile. No, she's going to cast. Uh, she is going to cast a um, mirror image. Yeah, she's Everyone, going to take, I take 10, you know, 10 psychic damage for seeing twice of this ugly bitch's face. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I have, I have, a, I'm not spending my high level spells up to anything else, so fuck it, let's try to counterspell that too. Alright, but you're gonna cast a counterspell? Maybe as well, I'm not using my 4th level spell slots for anything else. That, yeah, that's a space for her mirror image, and she's just so <laughs> annoyed. Cool. And that ends the turn. It's now uh, Breeze's turn. He's going to fire his uh, his. Uh, now that the stone uh, stone skin spell is now gone, he is going to fire his um, his his crossbow. He's going to use uh, spend a luck uh, uh, a point of his lucky of lucky feet and a nineteen that hits. And that's a uh, ooh a ten. Yeah, uh, as he like fires the, uh, the last bolt, and just as the uh, bolt lands uh, in, in her neck, she suddenly starts to uh, she suddenly starts to glow. Her eyes, you know, she glow the most of it in her, in her eyes, and he feels like this burst of uh, this, this burst of power uh, emanating from her. She's trying to more and more of the uh, um, of, uh, uh, of the uh, of the uh, um, engine. Uh, and just, I will hmm, not <laughs> break uh, out of, uh, by the likes of you. She snails. No, snarls. And that means, um, it's uh, yeah, it, it is not over yet. Uh, yeah, she she falls to the ground. She uh, she gets back up. She's now on the ground. I was about to get smoked. Okay. Um, it is now Apparatus' turn. Um, she's still up, right? She's still up. Yes. Shoot. Uh. Hmm. I mean, there's not much to, uh, th there's not much we can do either way. Well, you can you so. can attack her. Her her wall of force is gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Th uh, so she'll shoot. 
shoot the order my order my release to shoot. Yeah, you go ahead and roll attack. Okay then. Twenty five. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Two D eight force damage, and she gets knocked uh, knocked back uh, about five feet. Eight. Eight points. Yeah, uh, she like she like gets like tells like a few uh, a few feet, uh, but she still uh, she still stands. And on as a legendary as a mythic action, she is going to use a magic missile storm. I would like everyone to roll a dexterity check. Dexterity save. Remember to add your extra d4. Okay then. Okay. 50. Oh, I net twenty that roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, six. 16, 17, 18. Oh, shit. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Oh. Twenty-four. Yeah, uh, she, uh, and, and all of a sudden, yeah, like, that's a, tw- a rain of bullets. That's a 27. So, so, yeah, that's a 27. So, yeah, that'd be a 27 I'm for me, but yeah. Four. Net 20, baby. Yeah. Wait yeah. a second. Yeah, she is, uh, she, like, she like uh, moves her hands around, and suddenly all these like, magic bolts, or like magic missile bolts, suddenly appear out of nowhere and like rain down at you. And you take. Oh no! Uh, the camel fails. Oh no! <laughs> oh, camel. Uh, maybe I should cast bless again to include it in it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, so that would be a, a three, five, nine, ten. Meanwhile, more than points because if so, my camera is 17, 20, 20, uh, 3, 26, 30, uh, 41 points of force damage. Every, everybody, so, uh, so Bree takes uh 20 points of damage as as, she, as he like uh, takes uh, takes a blunt a blunt of the uh, um uh. T- it takes a bl- uh, blind of the force and protects the uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, the waiter with his sh- with his shield as the uh, bullet pierces his body. So Celeste, you take no damage. Style, and she's like, whoop, whoop. you want yeah, like sword yeah, and she, Riku, uh, she's Riku cork- Yeah, Riku. she's corks. Yeah, corks. Th- she's corks through, screwing through the air like a freaking Viratech, avoiding a Macross missile massacre. L- okay, Lonnie, you also, you take. Uh, I think you and I are the only ones that are going to get that. Yeah, uh, you take 41 points of damage. Ouch. So, Wait. is my what? camel dead? Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, yeah. never mind. Um, you take th- uh, 20 points of damage. The camel's probably dead. And I yeah. probably... The camel was probably dead from the fall. <laughs> no, the camel survived the fall. 32 points of damage for apparatus. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, his hip, uh, their hit points there, as in the character, their hit points are at 32 hit points. Mark. You take 41 points of damage, and you have to down to 42. From a 24 save? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. Uh, wait. Wait, 60, you have 62 hit points. Sorry. Okay. Ouch. Sorry, I, I, uh, I lost track. I'm sorry. No! Uh, sorry. which one's the passing again? You rolled a nine. Does that make you feel on the saving throw? I'm sorry. That was from my camel. Okay, okay. That's that's right. The camel and the camel just like floats into a bloody pile of gore and blood, just from the uh, uh sheer number of arc uh, of uh, magic missiles just like piercing through it. No! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a fine <laughs> steed camel? Yeah, that's a fine steed camel. So. So no, it would. So it wouldn't be chunky. So it wouldn't be chalky stuff. It would just oh, disappear yeah, into a cloud of sparkles, and you yeah, can it, summon it, him it, again. It just like disappears into a puff of logic. Okay, that's better. Stick you will live off. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because fine steed and fine greater steed. Yeah, that isn't a. That's ba- yeah. That's basically like a, yeah. That's basically like an otherworldly spirit taking the form of a critter you get to ride. Okay. Uh, Mark, it's your turn. <laughs> you hear the camera go, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Okay. Fuck this uh, shit, I'm well, out. No thanks. I think I'm gonna have revenge now, so. Hey, camel! 
Vengeance! <laughs> yes. Or, or if, any, if, or if anyone reads the Looking for Group webcomic, FOR PONY! <laughs> <laughs> I don't read Looking for Group, but... That, okay, uh, that so was that was a 10, so I'm going to use my inspiration uh, to roll that again. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, I'm going to use a second level smite. Um, so, it's, uh, so that'll be 3d8 extra radiant damage. Uh, that is 12 points of radiant damage. Okay. A uh, slashing damage? I've uh, 10 points of magical slashing damage. That's 22, uh, right? Yeah, 22 overall. Alrighty, um, uh... Attack number two. Yeah, your, your, uh, your glaive blows for, uh, for a minute, uh, for a moment, as you, as you slash at, at her. Uh, she, she takes a blow, but she, but she seems undeterred by her goals. Okay, well, attack number two is a 26 to hit. That's a hit. Uh, I'm gonna use another spell slot for another second level smite. Because you do not fuck with my camel. Um... So, another 3d8 radiant damage. Uh, let's see, that's 14 radiant damage and uh, 15 sl slashing damage, so 29 damage overall. Damn, okay. Another, another, and then another my third attack, attack, which is with the haft of my pole, uh, pole arm. Uh, that's a critical hit. Oh! Uh, and I am going to do another smite using the last of my second level spell slots. Um, so that's um, cool. So instead, that is 68. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Again, don't fuck with my camel. It's my <laughs> camel. Um, 24 radiant damage. 60. Oh. How many points is that total? Uh, uh, um, 22 from the first attack, 20... Uh, uh, how many points of damage is that from the third attack, I mean? Third attack, okay, so 24 radiant damage, and, um, hit on that, 8 plus, uh, 32 damage on the attack with the haft. So that's... 32 points of damage total. Damn. 32 plus 22 is... Alrighty. Plus wow. Okay. Yeah, that's 80 points of damage overall. 84 points of damage for, for with one attack? Oh, damn. No, wait, no. One wait. turn. One turn. Damn. With one turn. She, uh, uh, she's and then... Yeah, so that's the end of my turn. Oh uh, yeah, she is going to use her raw attack power as part of her mythic action and is going to cast magic missile at at you, Mark. And you take okay. um, and you take okay. So that's so that the so the, uh, an eighth level version of magic missile. Um. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Is it? It's still just a bunch of d fours. 10 D4 yeah. plus 10. It didn't hurt a little. So, uh, um, That's not bad at most. Still five, still oh. well, then, well, then again, you know, Mark is a paladin, so, you know, he's, he's going to yeah. have a good Seven, hit point. Nine. Like I said, it's going to tickle. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 33 points of force damage. Okay. Uh, that got rid of half of my current hit points. Yep, uh, you're at 29 hit points now. Ouch. Uh, Lonnie, I believe you're up. I'm gonna take a sway of wood bear wine to heal up the, to heal up the uh, smack I, I took a minute ago. And then I'm gonna maintain bless. And uh, let's see. 
they're not looking too hot, so let's go ahead and make things hot, harder for them. Uh, I would like to see a... a constitution saving throw from the, uh, from the enemy gnome. Alrighty. Against frostbite. She's going to roll a, uh, her legendary save again. I mean, if you want to blow that on a cantrip, be my guest. Never mind. Um, oh yeah, she's a gnome. That means... Okay, no, so that's nope, 11. Nope, because that's only wisdom, intelligence, and charisma saves. Uh, okay, 12. That's a failure, so that will be... 7 cold damage. And they have disadvantage on their next weapon attack roll, but they are using weapon, but the important thing is just, uh, more damage. Alrighty. And, uh, uh, what kind of spell is it again? Uh, okay. Cantra. Uh, Jawani yeah, cast fro Frostbite. Frostbite. Yep, uh, she, uh, the forest starts build out on her, on her body, like, she, her, her, her skin is, like, glowing at this point. Oh, and, um, and you she- You might want to get that power and continence looked at. Uh, I know for a few physicians it might help, but you need to stop the whole murdering thing first. On a letter action turn, she now uh she's able to like tap into more of the convergence, meaning um yeah, meaning she is going to use a, a bit of a surprise on her upper sleeve, meaning. Uh, just give me a second. I she cast Summon Beholder. Nope. <laughs> then that that would be awful. <laughs> I, I I would not be happy. That's for sure. I mean, fighting a 60th level caster already is a bit... It's already awful, but here we are. <laughs> and we and, got her on the ropes, though. She's yeah. going to activate one of, one, of conduit, uh, one of the conduits of life and death, meaning everybody... Uh, uh, meaning... Okay, uh, meaning everybody roll a uh, constitution saving throw. Do we have okay, the conduit yeah. with us? Uh, Bree failed his, oh, uh, his, uh, his saving throw. Wait a minute. Eight. Oh, yeah, bless. Eight. Plus, okay. Nope. Failed. That's an 11. 13. Okay. Oh, damn 15. It. 13. Alrighty. Uh, so last yeah, yeah, let me. Yeah, let me. Yeah, I'm calculate. I'm calculating here. Oh. Oh yeah, I got a plus. Yeah, I got a uh, twenty-six all told. Yeah. Oh, Bree's going to. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Um. You feel like you feel a little a weaker when she activates uh, like conduits of life and death. Or, oh yeah. Yeah. Do, uh, Twenty. Uh, Twenty bits. Twenty bits of a life force for eight points of necrotic damage. And she heals. Which I am resistant. Which I am resistant to because ASMR. And that means to take two points of um, narcotic damage. Everybody, uh, everybody oh. else takes eight points of um, narcotic damage. Audio processing sort of brain. Two points of narcotic damage. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. I made a tw I, wait a minute. I rolled a. I got a twenty-six all told on that on that con save. That means yeah, normally you would take about four points of narcotic damage, but since you're also resistant. Okay. And she heals up for uh, for eight points of uh, for uh, for eight. Okay. Points. Oh, so it's okay. So it's so it was full. So it yeah, you've been full team. damage on a failure, half damage. Okay. Uh, and also resistant because yay, I'm an yeah yay. Angels are resistant to radiant necrotic damage. And it is now Aluria's turn, and she is going to. Do something really mean. That all of her spells starts up back, by the way. And she is going to cast Lightning Bolt at level eight on Mark. Uh, uh, uh basically she's going to like, uh, like she's going to move, move over here. Uh, oh, yeah. Ah. Give me a second. At least she doesn't have a spell screw that one guy in particular. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to do hasten spell, so I cast it three times around. And she is going to cast lightning bolt at level eight on uh, Mark, Lonnie, and uh, Celeste. Every, uh, I would like all three, the three of you to make a wisdom save. Uh, oh, dexterity like, saving throw. All right. Okay. Everyone, dexterity. Okay. Hope you do. That's a seven. Oh! Oh, what a shot! I'm, I'm going to well. ignore the. I'm going to ignore the deep. Actually, no, I'm That's not going to. That's a 24. 
a nat twenty that roll. Nineteen. No, um, that's that's last Alani and Mark. You're good. Um, I provided. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought. Okay then. As I uh, unless you want to take my place. All right, so so Mark succeeded on the same throw. Last uh, nat twenty and Lonnie. <laughs> I already said I rolled a seven. Oof. In the chat. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oof. Is that gonna okay, so that's eight? Oh yeah, oh yeah, eighty uh, eighty-six. My mistake. Eighty-six plus oh that's oh that's fifty D six. Alright, so one, two, four, eight, twelve. Fourteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-six points of lightning damage to uh, Lonnie. Wait, Lonnie, oh, I had twelve HP. I had four. I had forty-eight. And now I'm down to 12. Okay. Mark? Yeah, so that's 40, uh, 38. You take 90 points of, uh, of lightning damage. As like, as like, it like pierces through your bo- uh, your, to, to, pierces through your body. Slurs just like, to gracefully slides out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm at two hit points now. Okay. Um... That yeah, is don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Celeste has a coup de yeah has a coup de gras up her sleeve. Hopefully, it's a coup de gras. Summon honey badger. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, on uh, on her um on on on, the, on her second layer action, she is going to use her, her channel of the conjure of night and and day, and I'd like everyone to roll. Um, uh, uh, well, const uh, uh, constitution saving throw. And that includes three. Oh, yeah, bless. Right. Oh, for the love of another nat 20! Alrighty, so. Uh, uh, 16. Uh, 17 for a priest, so that makes he succeed on the, uh, um, constitution saving throw. He is not blinded, and so another are you, Celeste. What's going on? Lonnie, uh, you failed on your uh, on your constitution save, so now you are considered blinded. I didn't make my constitution save. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh yeah. Like one. I haven't rolled it yet, and I don't know why. Oh yeah. Oh it. yeah. Uh, she is going to no. Actually, yeah. She's she's going to try to like uh, use nighting die on Cel on Celeste. You're good. I'm I was mistaken. My mistake. Oh, it it was it wasn't. Uh, yeah. Everybody takes it. It's just one. Yep. Yeah, Cele yeah, Cele yeah, Celeste is okay. She nat 20, that roll. Yeah. It is now a uh, breeze, uh, breeze turn. I say like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It runs up to... Uh, run, uh, runs, uh, runs up uh, to... Um, area and, and attacks twice. No, as a matter of fact, he's going to use up his uh, his action surge on a on a, on. A, like he switches to his weapon to, to his sword and and runs up. Thirteen. That's a uh, twenty-two. That uh, that hits. And I'm gonna check his uh, damage. So two d six plus d eight. Two six eight. Sixty points of uh, sixty points of damage total. Oh, two four. Six. Yeah. Dirty uh, points of uh, slashing damage to to Arya. Thir yeah, because you gotta remember, fire shield. He's going to make another attack. Ooh, nineteen plus eight, twenty-seven. Another um another successful attack. And she's just uh, sla uh, slashing at her for nine. That's that's five points of fire damage, and a D eight. Um, 18 points, uh, uh, uh 18 points of, uh, damage total. So that's, um, no, wait. 
Yeah, so 10 points of slashing damage total. That means 18 points of uh, fire. No, 15 points of, uh, of, uh, of damage total. And he's going to use his, his axe and surge. And along with it, he is going to use, I believe, his last... His, his last or his second or last. And he is going to use a menacing attack. And that is... 4 plus... I'll be right back. 8. Hey, does plus count towards attacks? What? Does bless I believe it's just a... Uh, it depends on I believe the spell. it just... Uh, that's uh, Bless, I think it just like, counts towards the nope. attack roll. He wastes he wastes his fantasy attack and misses on his uh, his third attack. So he's going to try again with his fourth and last, and that's a miss. That ends his turn. As he just like slashing uh, slashing her uh, kind of down, she's not looking too good here, despite her like her raw power. Um, apparatus, now your turn. Uh, you can use our hammer. You know your powerful hammer. Yeah, I might as well do that. Okay, I first I'll first order my majority to shoot. Yeah, we and Mark are in the way, so it will have to you have to work with with this bench. Oh yeah, okay. So that would be about uh so. So instead of nine, what would it be? It'll, it'll you just roll be. twice before lower. Alright, so just uh, d20, okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, 14. Misses. Barely. Shit. Okay, and you can use your um, hammer to throw at uh, Arya, but that, but that means, um, as you can see here. Oh, I'll get it. Can I, I can't get close. You you can you can try. You can oh, try to roll your uh, your four uh, your sun fortune base. I'm not gonna do that. Does it? I'm not gonna. Like, I could lose it. You can you can you can repair. Uh, you you can uh recall it to your hand once once you throw it. Wait, what? Oh my god! I can. You, I do it. Like you're you're gonna like Thor like Thor. You, you can return to your hand oh. like a. Oh, oh, like okay, a dwarven then. thrower. Okay, then I'll throw my hammer then. Alrighty. That means Arya, Bree, and uh, Mark will have to make their deck saves. Mark, roll deck save. I'll roll for Arya first. That's a nine. She fails. As for uh, uh, Bree. Oh, uh. that means, oh, Bree rolled a, uh, an 18. Roll 2d6 points of fire damage. I rolled a twenty-two. Both we and um um uh both we and you make it, so you both take half damage from all the damage. Would half damage be more than two hit points? Yes, probably. Okay, I go down. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I'm sorry. That's why. Uh, that's my fault. I I throw the thing. You throw the thing? Yeah, he threw this thing. And and uh, roll damage. Roll your roll two d six. Uh, uh, two uh, sixty six points of fire damage. Two d two d six. Sixty six. Two d two d six. Sixty six. Ah shit. Oh yeah, th th this is a sunbreaker, ma a mall maze thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's basically I throw my hammer. Congratulations, there's a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. Uh, she takes uh, ten points of fire damage, so she still has her uh, fire shield up. And Mark goes down, um, thanks to the collateral damage. And um, we also take ten points of fire damage. That's like burst of fire. You throw your hammer. You, uh, you throw your mace, and it lands near. It lands between Mark, we, and it does uh, not land. Yeah. When it goes boom, it it gets destroyed, <laughs> and then he can uh, rematerialize it next round. Yep, uh, and a burst of fire like enveloped Mark, Bree, and um, Arya. Bree uh, raises his shield up, 
takes a uh, takes a bit of uh, uh unfortunately as as Mark tries to get out of the fire, he he tumbles uh, down. His uh, his clothes uh like uh the the rim is uh, of his uh clothes on fire and blackened. Make sure Make sure to decommission me after the uh, after this round. I'm getting too old for this. You, uh, I pride this is pretty young. <laughs> if yeah, I keep making these mistakes, uh, something's going wrong. Unless it's like a, unless I'm like a replicant, then the, my lifespan is really short. Alrighty. Seen things. You people wouldn't believe. All right, that's basically for what Kenneth, would happen to. Is it for Kenneth made Warfare the oldest one for sixteen? Oh, that, would that be your turn, Apparatus? Yes. All righty. Um, it is now Celeste. Uh, Celeste's turn. About time. Yeah, about time. Yeah, about time. Cause uh, old girl, old girl's going down as. Uh, as uh, as uh, Celeste uh, chugs another chugs another dose of good ber berry wine, bringing her back up to twenty hit hit points, and this time she this time she's going to she's going to she's going to take one of the little uh, diamond studs from her uh, uh, from one of her ladybug brooches and turn it and turn it in and turn it into a concentrated snowball. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. In other, in other words, yeah. In other words, she's burning a second level spell slot to cast chromatic orb. Go ahead and roll attack. All right, plus eight, and I'm assuming bless is still active, so that's going to be a plus D four. Team plus dirty twenty. That's a twenty eight on the attack roll. That hits. All right, and I'm gonna go, and that's, and since I'm burning this, burning my second level, my one second level spell slot, that's gonna be an extra D8 on cold damage. So that's four D8 cold. Let's see, six, eight, and fourteen, and fourteen, sixteen. And yeah, seventeen points of cold damage plus eight radiant. Already, that's. 25. Damn. Yeah. And, and as you like, and, and as you uh, like, uh, throw like a snowball-like uh, object at Arya, she retaliates with uh, with a raw on top potential and casts a lightning bolt. Uh, 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 does that means Lonnie and uh, Celeste roll dexterity safe. Someone really should have just made Zuko. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to counter spell mm. that because I haven't had my turn yet, so this will probably take me down if I do, if nothing happens if I don't stop it. Alrighty, go ahead and roll. But, uh, I roll, but uh, I rolled a and twenty-two. A okay, well, Dave. goodbye. <laughs> okay, so uh, so six, nine, thirteen, fifteen, twenty, uh, twenty-one. Um. Uh, f um, okay, so uh, 21, 27, 32, 33, 34, 38, 44, 47, 49, 50, 52 points of uh, lightning damage to, uh, to you, Lonnie. Sure, that's fair. Oh. I, I wrote my second throw was 19, but it doesn't matter, even half, that would be more than enough. Yeah, so, uh, uh, okay, so that's 52, that. 26 points of uh, lightning damage to you, Lonnie. And as the lightning bolt like uh, courses through, uh, courses to you, you you tumble to the ground, uh, you tumble on the table, and knocked out. Celeste, mm -hmm. does a lightning bolt go through the path of me as well? No, it, it, it goes over you. Okay, that's good. So Celeste, what you roll for your uh, deck save? Uh, let's let's see, uh, nineteen. A nineteen and a two, and a two from the D four from bl from bless. That's a uh, yeah, that's twenty one plus. Yeah, that's a twenty eight on that save. All right, mm -hmm. you succeeded, and you take about uh twenty six points damage as you like get out of the way of the uh, lucky boat in time, but you still take the hit. Yeah, and it points. brings me many hit points. You're at uh, uh take uh, take take uh, taking up twenty six hit. 
26 points of lightning damage, bringing you down to 37. Alright. Alright, th yeah, 37. Okay. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I'm still up, and she's. Now looking. And she. Yeah, and she's. Yeah, basically at death's door at this point, because, you know, I. Slammed. Uh, slammed her. Yeah, slammed her with my chromatic snowball. And, um. <laughs> All right. Alani <laughs> falls and mutters, "Your plan is still fucking dumb." <laughs> like I said, she probably went to the same villain school as Thanos. Too many mouths and not enough to go around. Are you ready? Uh, more. Hmm. Oh, hey, fucker! Uh, Logistics is the primary cause of starvation. <laughs> All righty, Mark, go ahead and roll a death saving death saving throw. Uh, throw. Okay. Uh, well, remember Thanos is re well. Remember Thanos. They call him the Mad Titan for a reason. I'm sorry. As someone who is crazy, that's insulting. He should be the dumb fuck Titan. <laughs> well, in the comics, <laughs> you know, oh. comics, he seems to be punny. He he paying for death. Uh, I think like little. Before. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And in the comics, yeah, he's romantic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I personification of death. And that makes sense. Okay, his face is a ball sack, so he thinks with his dick. Okay, <laughs> that works. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so Mark, where'd you go? By the way, what'd you guys think of his uh, of his uh, cameo in Men in Black Two as the Balchinian? <laughs> Maybe not. So, so Mark, where'd you go? Anyway, <laughs> I I rolled a twelve. Alrighty, you may uh, you have uh, you are one step away from death store. And, uh, and as part of her, uh, lair action, she is going to try to, uh, use Conduit of Life and Death again on Bree. No, actually on Celeste. Celeste, roll a Constitution saving throw. Alright. And all of the commotion, the waitress flees. Oh, wait, oh sorry. wait, she's still alive? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honestly, with everything that's going on, I figured either she's already left or she's dead. <laughs> no, 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 she, no, 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 it's like, it's like this, remember, it's like the scene in Ghostbusters at the Sedgwick Hotel, you know, when the Ghostbusters fire off their proton streams and the maid ducks behind her, ducks behind her, uh, yeah, toiletry cart. What the okay, hell okay. Are you the Sunbreaker sun Mall, when it explodes, has a twenty foot radius. Uh well, nobody Yeah, she, well, nobody told me yeah. about it. That's a big fucking yeah, no. ball of, of of boom boom. Yeah, she probably yeah, got should, fucking yeah, like, vaporized. Yeah, you should probably no, decommission the uh, no, she was, this. No, actually she was just outside of the blast radius. Yeah, that's Bam. I insist. After this, uh, after this, either they, uh, either they need, needs calibration. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, Celeste, what you wrote on your, um, constitution save? <laughs> Celeste, are you there? So Alright, so Celeste, uh, are you there? Uh, Celeste, would you like me to roll a current uh, save in your place, or...? They're probably having connection issues, they'll be back when they can. Yeah, uh, do you want me to, like, target someone else instead, so we can get this forward? Yeah, I think we should. 
So, apparatus, actually, she's going to use life and the country of life and death on you. Well, constitution safe. Uh, okay then. Uh, constitution safe. Um, yeah, constitution. So basically, uh, D20 plus yeah, yeah. eight. Twenty. Alrighty. Wow, you managed to like resist. Uh, resist. Uh, uh, uh resist. Yeah, uh, uh, like the last frame. Uh, from her. That's impressive. Lonnie. Huh. Roll a uh, d uh, roll the death safe. Five. Oh shit. Okay, you're one step closer to death. I'm sorry. Okay, and it is now Arya's turn, and she is. Uh, 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 her second layer is turn, and she's going to fly up about 30 feet with the conduit of the sky. Woo! And, and on her turn, she is going to cast. Um. Okay, she is going to yeah, she's going to cast um, I bite on three. So that means he's going to make his his uh, wisdom saving throw. Twenty three. What are the odds? Oh, by the way, you have your hero points. So if. So next time, so next time you turn, Lonnie, you can use the hero point to uh, to turn a failure into a success. I remember. Alrighty. So. And we're. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to worry about constitution saving throw of Celeste. So. No. Uh, so that. Uh, so that. Uh, so that. Uh, so that. Uh, so that ends her turn. On her third. Uh, on her uh, next layer action, she is going to use her. Um, she's going to use another conduit, conduit of uh, story and dream. So that means um, Bree, Celeste, and Akrise needs to make a charisma performance check. Yeah, and, oh, and she channels uh, cha uh, like uh, cha uh, channeling the party, uh, 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 party all through for their spirit and apparent heroism. Feel the uh, um, yeah, of the ones <laughs> of the The dice love me today. I got a net twenty, baby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, right. uh, and Bree and Bree managed to roll uh oh. roll well an eighteen. He's able to, uh, able, to uh, he's able to like uh through his uh, uh force of personality and his apparent heroism in defending that uh and helping defending uh that waitress. He's able to uh that convince Dolanus uh like the uh, the, uh, the story of Dolanus to um uh, to spare him basically. As for you Celeste, your uh, your apparent heroism over the years have made uh uh, uh, has also confessed the story. She's not looking. Uh, she's not looking too happy about this. She's. She looks a little scared. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, nat. Well, yeah, nat twenty, and of course, Celeste has a capped charisma score. Bree, uh, uh, yeah, Bree is up. Um, he's going to switch to his crossbow and fires. Misses on a. Uh, This is for the first. Uh, this is for the first time. This is her uh, metric. Uh, this is her mythic mode. Yeah, she. Uh, she uh, Very she, important, you mythics. Uh, so basically, she, uh, on, on the first half, um, she wasn't able to use the conduit. But since this is in, since this is her mythic mode, she's able to use the uh, conduits. Uh, like a bit of an emergency thing, burning away at her soul. Does that make sense, Lonnie? So, so sorry, so sorry, Cole. But by the time we're done with her, there won't be enough left of her to fit in a matchbox. Yeah, if if she uh, if she lived, it would be a bit of a miracle. Does that make sense, Lonnie? Nah, just do your thing. Sorry. So anyway, uh, uh yeah. Uh, uh, Breeze turn is up, and Apparatus, you're up. Okay, then. Uh, uh, should, should I move? I think I think I should move. 
But uh, first off, uh, let's uh, let's get my some forged mace back. That takes that takes some in action. I'll do that because I really don't. Uh, I'll do that because I really uh, don't want to get. Uh, I want my magic fireball hammer back, damn it! I, I really don't want to get caught. I can cut with my pants down. Alrighty. Uh, in your hands, like the pieces of the other uh, mace uh, form in your hand. What do you want to do okay. now? I, I'll move my ballista so that it doesn't so it doesn't hit the so it doesn't hit Bree. And then in order to fire at the damn at, okay. at the damn bad right, guy. Okay, so that's uh, nine, right? That plus nine, I believe. Yeah. Twenty-seven. That hits. Go ahead and roll two d eight. Fourteen. <laughs> yes. Nice, and she gets, uh, and the force of bolt like knock, uh, knocks her down, uh, uh, knocks her down, and she like, uh, I, I see a, I see a fear, a sure, a sure amount of the force slams her back. Yeah, uh, 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 slams her back, and like breaking against the window behind her. No, that's uh, uh, breaking the door behind her. Uh, it would be funny. It would, it would have been funny if she fell down the, uh, the window. He's, ah. He's kind of flying, and. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether or not... Does anyone still have a... Uh, to still have a counter, uh, counter spell? Nope. No. Blessed ain't that kind of sorceress. Not yet, anyway. Okay. She is going to... You know, and one last spiteful uh, spe uh, thing. She is going to cast uh, Lightning... Uh, another lightning bolt on. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to decide whether it will be uh, apparatus or Bree. She's going to cast um, uh, lightning bolt on Bree, and that means he'll have to roll his sex save. He's going to use his one. Uh, his one last. Uh, his, uh, his second lucky. Uh, uh, his last lucky uh, point. Nope. He fails. You know, this is the first thing he, he's ever gone to down. Let's, uh, if the, if the dice are not in his favor. 5, 10, 15, 17, 19. 20, 22, 25. 29, 30. 31, 32, 38. Uh, 41, 46. One point off, and and with that she uh, ca she quickly cast a lightning bolt, uh, like uh, like her and her hands like uh, build up with, with lightning and shoots out at at Bree, piercing through him, and he decides to roll up, and he falls to the ground, unconscious. Seriously, this is this is the first time he has ever got has uh, got to knock down. Well, good. Th well, good. Th well, good thing. Well, good thing. Hell, no, Celeste has two first-level spell slots and yeah, healing hands actually, left. Um, so, everybody, I don't worry. Everybody's getting back up at the end of this. Actually, um, okay, yeah. Okay, I, I feel, I feel, well, I feel bad for that. <laughs> Because uh, I literally killed Mark, uh, I killed uh, Mar uh, right, Mark and... Okay, Mark, you, uh, go, you can go ahead and either use a hero point to uh, uh, to save yourself off on me. Oof! You can go ahead and yeah, use a hero point. Make a hero point for that. Nah, I'm gonna take my second fail. Oh, uh, your second fail? Yeah, one step I realized that I'm not supposed to add modifiers last time. You can use a hero point. You're very close to death. Yeah, you could revive uh, yourself. Uh, it's free. How many hit points would I have if I do it's, that? Uh, it's a uh, five plus you half your level, so you have nine hero points. You regain those when you level up. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. So, how many? Five plus how many hit nine. points? Uh, hero points. Five plus nine, so you're, so if you spend a hero point, you'll be at eight. 
Okay, yeah. Definitely doing that. Okay. Oh, but, oh, but thanks, uh, but your willpower has, has, uh, has basically made you, um, like, stubborn enough to, uh, to keep yourself at death's bay. Uh, uh, to keep you away at death's door. Okay. Um, Ed is now... Okay, Lonnie, roll that safe. Was... That an All right, that's one for my entire turn. Wait, what'd you say, Mark? Was that an action or my entire turn? Your entire turn. Okay. Alrighty, you're you're one step away from death, uh, Lonnie. Uh, that was a success. A thirteenth is a success. Isn't isn't it a fifty fifty if it's if it's higher than ten? Yes, basically. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, I have yeah. one fail. I have one failure and one success. It's now Arya's turn, and she is going to cast a uh, magic missile uh, at level. Um, okay, who? Uh, at, okay, she is going to cast magic missile at you, Celeste, at level six. Uh, this is gonna tickle a little bit. So that means um, eight d four plus. Eight. Two, as five, I'll eight. I'll be fine as long ten. as I'll be. Fine. Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to like, add. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Be fine Twelve, as long as it doesn't deal 15. more than thirty-seven points of damage. Mm, okay. Oh, 15, 17, 20, 28 points of force damage. I'm I'm hurting, but I'm still up. Uh, at 20, uh, 24, right? Yeah, 24. So at 13. No, I was at uh, I was at 37 hit points. So. Uh, and you take about 20, 24, uh, 24 force times. You're at 13. Okay, 13. I'm I'm hurting. I'm hurting, but I'm still. I'm hurting, but I'm still up. And oh, Celeste is. Celeste, Celeste at this point is, oh, why don't you just die? Alrighty. It is now, uh, Bree's turn. No, actually, uh, uh actually, um, uh-oh, did something happen to the Groovy? Yeah, it's probably going on for too long. On the same Alright, I'm gonna try again. You know what, just, just play the music. I'm gonna copy and paste the music here. And play the music. I'm not even worried about the music, listen. Yeah, um... She's going to use her... her uh, she is going to use her lair action to, like, fly around a little. And move here. And please, now please turn. He's going to use... Uh, he's going to make a death save. He's going to use a hero point. Uh, we, we need his hero points down to eight, so that's a uh, success. Um, which one did you use for our death saving throw? Uh, da, 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 da. This is the flat T20. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's, uh, there's the bot. Alrighty. Uh, it's now, uh, Br uh okay, Breeze turns up. After I just, you're up. Uh. Uh, should the. Now I guess. Uh, maybe you know it's not a good idea to. Sh uh, like, see. Is there anyone in the rank of. Uh, in the range of, of the some further maze if I throw it? There's being that they're flying, you could throw it ab uh, above them so they're caught in the burst. That, uh, that, actually, that will so... actually work. That actually works. Well, let's do that then. Alrighty. I'm going to roll a deck safe in, uh, for her, and that means 20. You fly, uh, you fly, uh, you fly up, uh, she, uh, 
as, as she was throwing her mace at, at her, she uh, she like uh, she uh, uh, sidesteps side and the uh, mace uh, continues to fly up and explodes in the air. Thanks for make great firework though. Okay, yeah, you, you had, take that fish, if it's like a fireball, would that still be half damage? Let me check. Yes, actually, you're right. Roll 66 points of fire damage. Okay, 66 points of damage. 25. Uh, that means she, she takes 13 points of fire damage because she still has fire shield up. <gasps> oh! Wait a bit! Even she failed! She, you succeed, and as the, as as the uh, fire uh, and uh, and when the fire is uh, catch up to her, it, it catches her and she falls to the ground. Oh, uh, she's able to she's barely uh, uh, she's barely able to stand. Like you think, you have won. Even if, if I perish, it's, uh, the engine will still uh, will still work. It was it, uh, it will still keep on journey. It, you, it think, will, you think you think we haven't you think we haven't even thought of that? <laughs> think Sla we haven't thought of that? Sless smirks Sless smirks at the gnome and don't worry, sweetheart, we've already got someone on that. So, and I just and I just, and I just go go and kick kick, kick her <laughs> You are you going to spare her or kill her? I gotta kick I gotta I'm gonna kick her and she, out. And she, and she uh, laughs a little darkly before you knock her out. Yes, well, yeah. Yes, well, let's go. We're done here. <laughs> and meanwhile, let's go to the uh, let's let's go off to the other team. Go, I would go like Leon. to call a vote to go, do the go other Leon. team next week. Because. I am. That, that a long time. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, this. Make sure we can. Uh, make sure that uh, because it's still it's gonna be like three people playing. At, at, at the very at least three people. Hopefully, Lafayette will, will be able to, should, uh, should show up next week. If if we're going to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, who wants to vote for next week? Because how was that fight? Uh, maybe. Yeah. It was a good. It was oh, a good. It, match. Oh yeah. This was... It was a good. Uh, good match. Oh, I can see. By, by, by the way, uh, if, the, if, if, you, if you're going to stay here, you might find, we need to find a way to make to ensure that her body do, her body doesn't burn out from the, from the strain of uh, using the uh, convergence engine. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, we're not exactly. In the, we're not exactly. I wasn't exactly thinking of spa uh, sparing here, and I doubt everyone else uh, would try to do that. I, I've got six major incidences for six major bodily harms I need to do to her, and then throw her off the skyway. <laughs> that, that that's great. Except most of the party just got bodied, so I think all of us have like a personal best interest in making sure that they're dead. All right, so you kill her then? Yay! You you uh, with with this, uh, with uh, so do you like you crush your head with your with your foot? Um, I shall lay on hands everyone for a point of. That's like that's like the that's like, yeah, like yeah, 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 Celeste. Yeah, Celeste. <laughs> Uh, Pri, uh, Pri, uh, comes like, uh, Pri, um, like, it takes a, like, a sharp grasp as he stands up, looks up to you and says, oh, thank you. Not the, the kind of thing okay, I so would... <laughs> Okay, so Celeste doesn't have to use her healing magic. Good. You can only hope, uh, that, um, uh, that Cole, Le Le Leon, and Liam, uh, will do the job well. So it'll, be up, so it'll be up to like Cole and the and um. Um, I'm gonna ask Liam if he if he's up. I we can do that next week. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll ask, I'll I'd ask Liam. very much like to do it next week. I really because I I think the, this was enough for me. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we've been at this for two. Yeah, we've been at this for two and a half hours. So how was yeah, it? I'm not a Good. Hey, it was. A, yeah, it was a nail biter. Mm. Yeah, three of the yeah. panels are knocked out. I mean, to be fair, like, well, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna. If, yeah, if I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry about the uh, the conduit. It's, the, she, she cannot use a conduit on the first half on her uh, on mythic mode. When she's in mythic mode, she she uses the. Uh, 
That means it, it, it was not just that, but I'm not gonna say uh, say that. I'll, I'll, I'll DM. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry if that sounds a little unfair. Um, that was not the uh, like I said. I'll, I'll DM you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, just, yeah, and yeah. I was responsible very... for fr uh, for at least uh, one incident of friendly fire here, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Which all very mythic, very importantly mythic. 